welcome back in this tutorial we will learn ellipse command in detail so if you want to give ellipse from keyboard you have to type el the keyboard shortcut is el press enter and if you want to give from ribbon bar so here is the ellipse command center is the first option click on that give the center point then make the ortho on if it is not on so right now it is on so no need to make it on then specify the direction in which direction you want to specify the radius suppose i want to specify radius in a horizontal direction then give the radius enter then specify the vertical radius suppose 10 so in this way we have created this ellipse with horizontal radius of 20 and vertical radius of 10 so this is the first method then if we click on the arrow the second method is axis end that means at first you will have to give two endpoint of the axis and then the radius of the third axis so we will take this axis end then specify the first endpoint of the axis then specify the second endpoint that means you you will have to give diameter of the first axis you can give it vertical also or horizontal also so suppose i want to give it horizontal and i want diameter to be 30 enter then give the vertical the radius suppose i want 10 radius so in this way in this option we are given at first horizontal diameter first diameter of the ellipse then radius of the ellipse from the center so this is the second method then in both of these methods there are one more option is there that is a rotation option if you give the first point second point here is the rotation option is there that we will see in the end end because it needs a great explanation so before that we will complete this elliptical arc Suppose if you want to create an arc, elliptical arc, then you can use this command, elliptical arc. Then for this uh, command, both options are available. That is axis end and center. If you want to create the ellipse by specifying the axis end, you can directly click it. And if you want to go for center option, you can click here. Click here. Then give the center point. Then give the radius then give the vertical radius then you have to specify make suppose i will make ortho off then you will have to specify start start angle from where you want so horizontally 0 90 180 270 and 360 suppose i want to start from here suppose in 120 degree and i want to go suppose up to 360 degree 360 now i want to create a half arc so for that I will give elliptical arc then center option give the center point then make ortho on then horizontal radius suppose I want 15 vertical radius I want 10 then again I will make ortho off then suppose I want to create half like this from here to here so here angle will be 90 degree and I want to give I will have to go up to 270 degree so in this way you can create a half arc then if you want to uh, ellipse command can also be used for creating isometric circle actually so for that actually to create that isometric circle you will have to make isodraft or isometric drafting on by clicking on this button make the grids off so when you after making the isometric drafting on if we take the ellipse axis end so you will find that there one more option is added that is iso circle so click on that give the center point of the iso circle and if you want to change the direction in which direction it should come you will have to press the f5 button on the keyboard so using f5 you can change the direction for the isometric circle and then specify the radius 
or you can also change the direction from here also by clicking suppose I want isometric circle in right direction so click on it again give the ellipse axis end then give the specify then select the iso circle option then give the center point and then specify the radius so of that radius in dire that direction iso circle will be created so this is about ellipse then about the rotation option so suppose i will again take this center give the center um, i will make this off isometric drafting off so for that at first cancel the current command press escape then click on it so it it got it became off then select the center then give the center point then horizontal direction make ortho on then radius of suppose 40 and now I want to specify second radius by rotation option so click on rotation now actually it will create the circle by rotating the circle around the horizontal axis so suppose if I want to create a full circle then I will have to if I give the 0 degree then it will create the full circle and actually and if I give some other angle suppose uh, again I will create center suppose I will start it in new drawing new tab suppose I create one circle uh, ellipse center give the center of the ellipse then ortho on suppose here is 15 is the radius and rotation option then suppose I give rotation angle I will make ortho off. So as I increase the rotation angle, the eccentricity of the ellipse increases. That means higher the value, higher the eccentricity, the ratio to the minor to major axis will increase. Suppose here if I give 45 degree, so ellipse will be created like this. Now what hap happens exactly? exactly in this rotation that you can understand in 3d modeling actually so suppose i will create start one more tab and i will change the workspace to 3d modeling then now here i will create one circle so this circle was of annotate so this circle was of actually of 15 radius so what we will do in 3d modeling we will create one circle of 15 radius then while creating this ellipse we have given 45 degree so here what we will do we will go to AC isometric then we will rotate this circle by 45 degree suppose we will use 3d rotate select the object enter then i want to re rotate like a red so click on this red circle and give the angle of 45 degree 45 degree so if i view the top view of this it will look like as a ellipse so if we see these both ellipse they will look like the same they will be same or we can view it in here also tile vertically and here if we see that both the ellipse are same but but one is actually circle rotated in 3d and one is the ellipse with rotation option if we further see it if we see it in suppose other view suppose we take it in right view so here you can view that circle is rotated at 45 degree and if we view from the top it it will show like a ellipse so the same concept is used here when we use the rotation option in ellipse so that's all so one more thing actually in ellipse if we give in 90 in the case of 90 degree what will happen this circle will get horizontal and ellipse will not be created so when you try to create a ellipse by rotation giving 90 degree 
so it will give the error actually it will suppose we will create in drawing map suppose here is the ellipse ellipse center center point then radius and here rotation and if i give the axis rotation of 90 degree then it will not create the ellipse because in 90 degree rotation when you will rotate this circle in 90 degree it will not be visible or it will be visible as a line therefore in 90 degree it gives the error so in this way you can use the different options in ellipse so thanks for viewing we will stop here